What's going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker and I think it is about time that I do my top five bourbons of choice. Let's get right on into the video. All right, you guys, so I broke the top five down into five different types of categories and then I'll go into what bourbon I chose for said categories. Category number one is going to be your cheap mixer, something that you will make an old fashioned, a Manhattan or something with, just so that you don't break the bank, mixing it to make that cocktail that you really, really enjoy making. Bourbon number two that I think you all should have is an everyday sipper, something that you can find that is probably under $60 that you can sip on and enjoy every day and come back to and go back to the store and find on the shelf and pick it back up and sip on it the next day. Bourbon number three that I think everybody should have on their shelf is going to be your Friday night pour. Something that's a little bit more expensive than that everyday sipper. Something that you're looking forward to, to uh, sip on on that Friday night after a long week's work. Bourbon number four is going to be something that will impress a guest. But I've seen a lot of people make these top fives and have a bourbon that's going to impress a guest. And it's something that that guest isn't going to be able to afford. There's, it's only something that they're going to be able to have at your place or that one time with you. And when I pick this one, I'm thinking of something that's going to impress the guest. But it's also something that they can go to the store and hopefully find themselves and not have to break the bank. Bourbon number five is going to be that bourbon for special occasions. Now you, you never know how long you're gonna live. You could end up croaking and being six feet under tomorrow. Special occasions and a very expensive whiskey is something that has been tossed around for so, so long. Now I will enjoy the special occasion bourbon that I picked every once in a while, but it's also one that it's like, I really want that for that special occasion. Granted, my collection is not that large so far. It's one that you guys will pretty much be expecting. Let's get on into my bourbon picks. For my cheap mixer, the bourbon of choice is Old Forester 100 proof. This is so, so good. It holds up to the proof, holds up to dilution, makes drinks that much better. It's caramels and vanillas and sweetness and a little bit of oak because there are they are younger barrels just makes drinks to me so much better my old bourbon of choice that i made for drinks was buffalo trace now buffalo trace is in the 90 proof this being in the 100 proof definitely definitely holds up to the dilution and makes drinks in my opinion that much better find it on the shelves for around 26 to 30 dollars pick it up Make your drinks, makes it that much better. Let's get into number two. Number two was the everyday sipper. Now my everyday sipper of choice, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. This stuff, man, found my first bottle. It's finally hitting the shelves again. I think this is gonna be my everyday sipper. I sip on it almost every day. Being at a higher proof at 116, 117 proof, this stuff holds up. It's barrel proof. Really, really good. Sipping it on itself, doesn't burn. Has all of those wild turkey flavors that you're looking for. It's absolutely delicious. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour ourselves a little bit for the rest of this video. Cause it is my everyday sipper. <sighs> Bourbon number three is your Friday night pour. Smoke wet and small batch. I just did a video on this stuff, guys, and this stuff is absolutely delicious. Like I said, that white pepper that lingers on the back of your tongue on the finish of this stuff really, really impresses me. This was a $52 bottle, I believe it was, and it's usually around $60, $65. Man, dude, this stuff is phenomenal. And I don't know how often it's gonna be on the shelf. Only one bottle left when I picked it up and I snagged it. It's gonna be my Friday night pour for a while now. This is my 2022 uh, top five in the beginning of the year. I might do another one at the end of the year, depending on how many more bourbons I end up picking up and enjoy. But right now, this is my Friday night pour because it is just so darn delicious. Pick number four is that impress your guest. And like I said, I want something that the guest is going to enjoy. And it's also going to be something that they can possibly find and pick up 
and get themselves a freaking bank. And for me, that is going to be a store pick, a single barrel bourbon. And my bourbon of choice is going to be this Bib and Tucker 12 year aged bourbon. This stuff is phenomenal. I found it for uh, around $95 at one of my local uh, bourbon stores. This is the 40th anniversary bottle, Bib and Tucker, single barrel. This is at 99 proof, barrel number 102,021. That's a lot of barrels that Bib and Tucker do. Bottle number 79 out of 156, so right down the middle, not too bad. But this stuff is really, really good. I, I'm eventually going to be doing a review on this. This stuff is, it's a little mustier. It's got some must to it. It's really good. I kind of enjoy that, like must. Not a lot of rye spice in it. A lot of, uh, after the after you hit that must, it's got a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of oak there at the tail end. Really, really good. I, I break this out. When I have somebody that enjoys bourbon, I pour them a little bit and they're like, wow, that's some really interesting stuff. Yeah, that store knows what they're doing when they pick a bottle because you can go and find it. It's still on the shelf. I know, I was just there. I saw a couple bottles on the shelf. So if you really enjoy it, you can go pick one up yourself. For my final pick, number five, it's going to be that special occasion bourbon. And like I said, my collection is not that large. So when I started my bourbon journey, mid last year, 2021, I said to my fiance, I really, really want this bottle. If you can find it, I'd love it for Christmas. And she got me said bottle. And that bottle is Blaine's single barrel. And Buffalo Trace, Blaine's, everybody's gonna have their say about it. What they do is really good stuff. It's a very, very mellow bourbon but it's delicious, it really is. Would I pay what she paid for it again? Probably not, because I'm further into my journey and I know what to do. An astronomical price that was paid for this, I would never want her to do again. But it was a very, very nice Christmas gift and I really appreciate it. And this is because it's only gonna be for special occasions or when I really want something that is going to not necessarily knock my socks off, but I want to enjoy the money that was spent. That's why I got blends. I do have the N horsey on the top. Uh, I believe it's the first N, not the second N. I do eventually want to start collecting these, finding these for a normal price, not for something that is going to break the bank. And I do want to have the horsey collection. Will I get that? I don't know. Will I ever? I don't know. But we're gonna try and do that. Eventually, I will do a review on Blaine's for the channel. Blaine's is really good stuff. I really do enjoy it. Is it the best stuff on earth? Definitely not. Is it worth the price that people are paying? Definitely not. Is it worth MSRP? Definitely. It's really good stuff. They know what they're doing. That's gonna do it, guys, for my top five bourbons of choice for the beginning of 2022. We'll see what we do in, at the by the end of the year. We're gonna go through them one more time for you guys, just so in case you skip all the way to the end to see what I thought. We're gonna do Cheap Mixer, Old Forest, 100 proof, Everyday Drinker, Wild Turkey, Rare Breed. Friday Night Sipper is going to be, one of my favorites right now is gonna be Smoke Wagon, Small Batch. My Impress Your Guest is going to be a single barrel store pick, and my pick right now is Bib & Tucker 12 year, 40th anniversary. And then my uh, special occasion is going to be Blanton's. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. This is my top five bourbons of 2022 so far. Until next time, guys, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.